In this video, we're gonna be covering Oriental rug care best practices. So whether you just purchased an Oriental rug or you already have many of them, in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to take care of them so that way they last for generations to come and keep it looking as good as the day you bought it. And if you are a customer of Catalina Rug, you may have noticed that you received this rug care guide uh, card that came with your package. And in this video, we're gonna be covering all the stuff that's in here and hopefully going a little bit more in depth uh, and explaining everything for you. So all of that is coming up. So here at Catalina Rug, we like to break down rug care into five different scenarios. And the first scenario is a standard scenario where you wanna apply this to any kind of rug in any situation. Then you have a situation where you have a, a furniture on top of your rug, this is the second scenario. The third scenario we like to break it down into is when your rug is being exposed to a lot of direct sunlight. Then the fourth scenario is when the rug is in a high traffic area. And then finally, uh, when the rug is in a high humidity room or environment. Now, you can combine any of these best practices given the different scenarios that your rug is uh, experiencing. So feel free to combine these things. And uh, this, these are just best practices. So it, in terms of frequency, um, you can apply it depending on the situation that the rug is experiencing. Uh, the frequency that we're gonna be recommending, it's not like an exact rule. Uh, you can vary this depending on the situation. All right, so for situation number one, so this is just standard care and applies to any rug uh, and we recommend to do this at a minimum. So what you wanna do is you wanna vacuum the rug at least once a month and when you do vacuum, try to use a vacuum that's a canister type, avoid any sort of heavy duty or like industrial type of vacuum. And you definitely wanna avoid any sort of vacuum that has a beater bar on it. If you do use something like that, make sure you disable the beater bar because it could really beat down on the rug and uh, it's, not, it's not good for it. Uh, another thing is to make sure when you are vacuuming to vacuum the rug, rug uh, side to side. So uh, try to avoid vacuuming at the length of the rug, but uh, do it at the width. And this is just so that you don't pull on the pile in the same direction that the pile goes. You just uh, go from side of the pile. The next thing is that you wanna rotate the rug uh, about every two years or so. And again, it just depends on the situation, which we're gonna be talking about the other circumstances, but you wanna try to rotate the rug uh, once every two years to just kind of make sure that everything wears out evenly, whether it's from sunlight or um, traffic, which we'll talk about more. But at a minimum, let's say two years. And then finally, you wanna do the professional cleaning uh, about like every five to 10 years, depending on how dirty the rug is getting. And, and then just one more thing you wanna make sure you do is just air out the room. Uh, this is good for the rug, it's good for you. Uh, like once a month or so, like make sure you open up all of the windows and just let the room air out so that way if there's any moisture building up in the room or anything, it, it kind of uh, helps, helps that out. So that's something we recommend uh, at, at a minimum. All right, let's move on to scenario number two for oriental rug care, which is when you have furniture sitting on top of your rug. Uh, when we say furniture, we mean like couch or a coffee table, anything basically that's like covering over your rug and is sitting down close to your rug, uh, putting weight on it and also uh, keeping light away from certain sections of the rug. So the first thing you wanna do in terms of rug care is you just wanna start rotating your rug a little bit more frequently in this situation. So we recommend about once a year you rotate your rug. And the reason is that this helps distribute the, the weight and the, the weight that the legs of the furniture are putting on certain spots of the rug. So that way it kind of wears more evenly. Uh, another thing you wanna do is if you do have really heavy furniture, look into getting these rug coasters basically, uh, or furniture coasters rather. They sit underneath the leg of your furniture and they have a little bit of padding. It just helps kind of cushion the weight uh, of the heavy furniture. So we recommend using those. Um, then another thing you wanna do is make sure that you, when you vacuum the rug, uh, make sure you vacuum underneath the areas where it's being covered as well. 
let's say by a couch or by the coffee table. And when you're doing that, check for moth because moth really likes dark areas like that. So uh, when, whenever you vacuum, let's say you're vacuuming once a month or twice a month, this is a great uh, opportunity to check that there's no moth or anything in those areas of the rug. And then finally, the next uh, tip here is to basically air out the rug every few months. And what we mean by air out the rug is like shake up the rug, let some air underneath it. So you could grab it from like a corner or from one end and then shake it up. Uh, maybe move the couch back a little bit, let the air get into all those areas. And that's just generally good for the health of the rug. Now, so for the third scenario, uh, we're talking about direct sunlight um, exposure to the rug. So here is when you have direct sunlight hitting the rug through, let's say, a window for extended amount of time. This is especially important during summertime when the direct sunlight is really intense. So what we recommend doing here is pretty straightforward. Uh, you just pull the curtains during the time that there is direct sunlight hitting the rug. Um, if you don't have curtains in that part of the house, then we recommend using some sort of fabric to cover up the rug. If it's only like certain parts of the rug, you could even use like a yoga mat, that'll work just fine. So moving on to the fourth scenario, which is high traffic areas. So what we mean by high traffic areas is like hallways in your home, entryways, basically any area of your home where there's a lot of foot traffic. So one main thing about foot traffic on a rug, especially with shoes, is that it could cause the rug to wear in that certain spot of it more frequently. So let's say you have a hallway and there is another corridor on one end of it where a lot of people are walking through the same spot of the rug over and over. Well, that spot is going to start wearing out more than the others. So what we recommend here is pretty simple. You just have to rotate the rug a little bit more frequently. So if the standard care says about two years you rotate the rug here, you have to do it, let's say every six months or so. It really depends on how much traffic, traffic your rugs are getting, but definitely do it more frequently. And then also uh, when it comes to professional rug cleaning, we recommend you do that more frequently as well if you're finding that the rug is getting dirtier faster. So uh, you could uh, do that maybe every like three years or four years, like basically do it a little bit more frequently. For the last scenario, we're talking about rugs in high humidity environments. So what we mean by that is whether it's like a region like Florida or like Hawaii where it's just, just general humidity in the air is always pretty high, or if you have a rug in like a bathroom or part of the house where it experiences high humidity. So the main thing here is that once a year, uh, you want to do something to remove the moisture buildup in your rug. And the way you do that is you take out the rug, put it outside, uh, preferably during like summertime when there's strong direct sunlight, and uh, lay it out in the sun for about one to three hours. And again, that depends on like how much moisture has built up in your rug. And do that in the front of the rug and then flip it over, do the same thing, one to three hours in the back of the rug in direct sunlight, and then just put it back. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, the main thing here is to make sure that the moisture doesn't just build up and build up over the years into the rug, because uh, that could cause all sorts of problems. And then also, if you do have like a room that you're using it that has high humidity, like for example, a bathroom or something, uh, we recommend using like a dehumidifier to just reduce the humidity in the room and avoid that moisture buildup. So that kind of covers general rug care for the high humidity areas. So that concludes our Oriental Rug Care Best Practices. I really hope that you found this video helpful. Just remember that a lot of these things, again, when it comes to frequency, how often you need to do it, it really depends on the situation. So in terms of the frequency that we recommend, none, none of this is set in stone. You just have to look at the situation. If you're a Catalina Rug customer, feel free to reach out to us and we'll be happy to give you recommendations and we'll kind of understand better like what is the situation that your rug is in. 
And remember that if you want to learn more about uh, Oriental Rug Care, you could head over to our Rug Encyclopedia. We have a bunch of topics on Oriental Rug Care. We have a whole section of our Rug Encyclopedia dedicated to rug care. And uh, if you are a Catalina Rug customer, uh, remember that we do provide free rug concierge service with every rug that you purchase. So if ever you need professional rug cleaning or you need repair, you can reach out to us. We'll set up the pickup for you. We'll take care of the cleaning for you and we'll ship it back. You just have to pay for the uh, transportation fees and for the uh, service fees, but everything else, all the logistics, the resourcing, uh, of the professionals, everything will take care of for you to just make it convenient. And same thing goes with the repairs. And also remember that you can sign up for rug care reminders. So after you make your purchase, you're gonna get an invite uh, for signing up for rug care reminders, which is basically once a month, we're gonna send you a reminder of kind of what you need to do for your rug, depending on the scenario that it's in. And with every purchase, you're gonna get this rug care guide. So uh, this video would be great to follow along with the rug care guide. So you have a little bit more in-depth understanding of what to do. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, I invite you to like, to subscribe, and leave a comment with your questions, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, see you next time.